Good morning. So uh, back to Mr. Bixie next development. Um, let's see where we were when I last recorded. Okay. Yep. I remember now. Um, so um, we've got to the point where we can start uh, the GUI app up in two different modes. Um, standard snippet management um, and a search and paste mode. Um, and this is where we're capturing those parameters. Um, but uh, I probably want to have a different um, set of a different Chrome for the window based on those modes as well. So at the moment we're getting the standard window, but it's difficult to see that um, in my current setup uh, because um, I use uh, i3 window manager, which doesn't really do Chrome. Um, so if I show you that, so this is the standard mode. Um, oh yeah, I should probably use the built version. Okay, um, so this, this is standard mode anyway. Um, but yeah, so in here, um, I haven't really done a lot else with this mode yet, um, but I will be able to do things like go into edit mode and stuff like that, um, which is different to um, when we run it in search and paste mode. Here, um, if I run that, and I do dash dash, search and paste. There is a shortcut for that. <clears throat> you see that we've now got shortcut keys down the bottom, uh, down the side. Um, and if I were to try and do what I just did before, which is to go right, to go into edit mode, there's going to be an icon for it later. Um, it doesn't do anything. But if I were to hit return in this case uh, with shift, so that I can get a terminal output there, um, it does the paste, um, which we didn't get in the other version. So um, the difference otherwise on the window Chrome was no different there. Um, there's in i3, it's always the same. I've got just the same border. Um, I can, uh, if I can remember how I do that, I can pop up. No, that's not the one. I can take off all the window border and I can show normal border and then I can also show a header. Um, but that's about it. Um, all the other Chrome that you would normally get on a normal desktop isn't available. Don't want it. I'm in a tiny window manager. Um, so let's see what we're going to do there. I think probably the best bet is to switch to VM which do the dev there because I think it'll be fairly quick and easy and then we'll just pop back here afterwards to um, do anything extra yeah so let's do that I am going to start a new one here go to quick um, and I should have, I've got a Ubuntu 22.04, and I'm pretty sure that's up to date. Um, I built it almost a couple of months ago now, um, but I'm pretty sure I've got Go and everything up and running in it. Um, and I just, yesterday, no, not yesterday, a couple of days ago, I did make sure it was up to date with the Wales stuff. So let's do that. So I'll run came okay, new Ubuntu 22.04. And then I need to do display spice because it's 
bit weird otherwise. Alright, let's um we'll swap these over and I'll make this a little bit smaller. So hopefully I'm hidden behind this. I haven't got a preview, so Right then, um, so let's, let's get a terminal up. So, oops, one different setup here. Hopefully that's big enough. Yeah, pretty sure I updated this just the other day. Um, Sure. Yes. And yeah, it should be okay. Cool. Right, let's um just check what we've got here. So we should have go 118, I think. Yep. Um what version of node do we have? I need to make sure that's okay. Ah, Okay, we're good. I had to do those updates. I had to do the node version updates a while back. Right then, um, so let's just do a quick um, make clean make That's okay in theory. Uh, we'll just do a quick make test. Everything's passing. Okay, so um, let's do need the daemon up. Pretty sure I haven't got anything actually in here, so it's going to be. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. That's the client. So we'll get the daemon up, and then I'll just do another terminal here. Back here. Just need to check if I was pinged. Text from where I was parking yesterday. Um, right. So in theory, we have a snippet pixie GUI. Right. So this is in standard mode. Yep. So we've got the your standard Chrome here. We've got header uh, and minimize and maximize buttons and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can see we've got no snippets. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I haven't actually tested this when I'm in search and paste. I can't. Why is it that's so hard to taste to type in here? Search and paste. Right. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. No difference whatsoever. Okay. Let's see. Let's just play with the Chrome. Um, I will pop back to this browser and do browse IO. Look at the docs, reference, options. Here's a nice list actually, it's got everything in it. Um, but we are looking at 
I think I want to do frameless. No borders or title bar. Also see frameless windows. Oh, there's a guide for it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember this now. Okay. You can't drag basically a window which has no borders. In is, That's not technically true. Usually you've got shortcut for it. Um, but for some window managers and des desktop environments, you don't. So there's this um, handy little way you can do this by adding a data wells and uh, drag. Yeah, data whales drag means that you can just click anywhere and drag the window around. Okay, good to know. Right, so we want frameless, which is just like this to true or false. Okay, well, let's give it a go. So in here, I'm just going to have a little quick play. Um, hopefully I've got Vim. And we are looking at main. Cool. All right. So I want to take that, let's do that there, and I'll have, yeah, options, it's going to be that. Okay, so that should give us the basics there. And I should, in theory, without any changes, That should run exactly the same. So let's give that a quick go. So that should just work as normal. Yep. And then do the version without. Yep. Okay. Uh, good point here is what was to close is it control Q no come on Q no I need to know how to close these things in Ubuntu huh Surely there must be a shortcut. Wonder if it's been disabled by hmm. 
Windows one, Alt F4. Okay, just so I know, because I'm going to be removing Chrome and I need to know how to close it. Okay, all right then. Um, so what we're going to do here then is a little bit of a check here. So after we've created the options with the defaults, I want to do a little test and say, if if app search and paste mode then I want to do options frameless equal to true okay in theory it's that simple. So we have, in that case, search and paste. There we go. No frame. So let's add something here. Let's add ripple, 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 all day long. There we go. We've got the shortcuts and everything there. And if I do shift and return, oh, I haven't got um. Next do tools on here. Hmm. Uh, let's find that then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just singular. Okay, so we'll do that again then. Hit number one. Oh no, hit shift turn. Hmm, did not work. Interesting. Why is that? Something to be looking out for once we start doing this then. Wonder why. Do um, a text editor. Let's bring that up. All right, text data behind. And just hit return. Hmm. It is, it is there though. Yeah, it's in the uh, paste bin, paste board. What I keep saying, paste bin. Hmm, okay, something to look into later. Right, well that's done that, so let's now do running it without Chrome's and now we've got normal Chrome as expected. Um turn doesn't do anything, but I do have that. 
So, okay. Let me just double check that I'm happy with that. I think so. Now, can I move it? No. And that's the thing, isn't it? Can't grab it. And that's that's what you need to find a way around. So let's do that then. Um, I can test that. I can test that my, my normal environment, I think. So let's just uh, push this back, I think. Well, I'm not really set up for this. It's not going to have my global set, I think. And I can't test because it would show stuff. Right, I'm just going to re-implement this in um, in my normal environment. All right, and I'm going to come out here. I'm just going to say that's just job done. That's fine. I'm just tested. It works okay. Um, and I'll maybe come back and test that in a minute. So. Let's redo that here. It doesn't take too long. Interesting, what's that saying? Huh. Yeah, probably shouldn't do that here. Do that. Okay. Actually, we can do that even simpler here, can't we? Which means that we can do that here. Which means I didn't actually need to do Oops, that at all, but anyway, fine. Doesn't make any difference being outside of the thing now, because I've just bought this test inside. Look, it's here, but anyway, it's fine. Kind of, it's kind of simpler to see what we're doing here. Right, so in theory, that should still work. So, um, I'll just run it here. So if I do a build bin 
a bit pixie gooey without any args. We'll get a normal thing. And I can do that. It's fine. And if I run it with minus s, just for short, we've got the shortcut. Now you can't tell that this is an indifferent here because I'm using i3. Uh, I wonder if I do yeah see I can still override it here I can still move it In theory, that was working. And that works. I wonder why that didn't work on Ubuntu. Hmm. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, no, I'll do that. And then I'm going to add the uh, the drag stuff. Uh, switch window to frameless. Subject list mode. And then I'll do. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? Yeah, it's a little tricky actually. Can't really do it here because the app hasn't started. don't really want to do it here. I suppose that might be the wrong place I have to do it. Because we don't really have anything going on here. We're just doing the router to the main or whatever else comes in. Oh, I know where I can do it. Each of these is a screen derivative. Yeah, so we can do that. We can do the import here. I'll just yeah data whales drag that's what I need to add at some point. It doesn't have to be in the body, does it? Yeah, any any HTML element that has the data wells drag. Right. Okay, I'm going to need data wells no drag on the on the items that you can click. Um, mm -hmm. 
is, is that this to the machine I try to use blah 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 Right, so they there is a hierarchy. So I should be okay to do it. Um, in here, it's a shame it's not a class. Because that would be easy to turn on and off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, const draggable. Don't even know if that's a word uh, is search paste mode that's imported okay actually no what we'll do is search paste mode we'll just do data wells drag otherwise we just have it as empty but let's do this and I should get these things going the right way wow it's a bad day today okay I think I need more coffee. Okay, and then we'll just decorate this. Um, which I should probably leave a space just in case, so. We can take that space out of there. It's not quite as tidy on the HTML that's generated, but it doesn't make any difference. Okay, so in theory, we're going to have um, data wells drag um, displayed in here if we're in search and paste mode. And then I probably well let's see what happens. Let's see what that actually does. Um huh. I need to set that up to Check the JavaScript. Not even JavaScript, HTML. Uh, right, so theory. In short mode. Well, in theory, I can click and drag. No, that's good. Click on there. No, okay. So. It's not working in here.
can't run it with params. I don't know how to do that. Ah, I wanted to see if the HTML had um, had the stuff in or not. Okay, let's just try it out in Ubuntu. Could have just like mounted it, I think, into there, but I haven't tried that yet. Okay, so do that. Right, search and paste mode. Can I click and drag? Apparently not. Can if I do that? So what if I don't do it in search and paste mode? I still can use the hotkey. I don't think I need to implement that feature. I think most Linux users will just use the hotkey to move it if they've... because I'm just holding what you would otherwise know as the Windows key or the super key. If I hold that and click on any window, I can drag it no matter what from anywhere. You don't need to just use here, which is, I'm just doing that with normal click. But if you hit super, yeah, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> I haven't implemented it in this. <laughs> uh, let's just try it out. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely having a bad day today. The this stuff. Okay, so it was in source front uh, What's going on? All right. All right. It's front end source components. Screen. Right, I'm just going to quickly check. Um, whether it makes any real difference. Should do it here.
data whales drag. Search and post, paste. No, it's not making any difference here either. But I can still use my, my short, uh, short key. Hmm. Something weird going on there. Maybe I'm not using it right. And unfortunately, because I don't have access to the DOM inspector here, Oh, I know. I can, I can do that, can't I? Um, so if I look at the make file, Rails build. Okay, let's do a quick change here. We'll do that. Just do a build with debug turned on. And I believe that will give me the DOM again. DOM inspector. Yeah. So I can't resize it. But it's definitely on there, look. Ah. Ah, okay. That's interesting. Didn't expect that. Okay. Yeah, I did the wrong thing there. I didn't treat it. As something to be output. It's treated it as. A variable. Interesting. Okay, let's um, let's try something else there then. Can I do that? No. Ah. Okay, can I do
data warehouse drag and then make that a boolean. I'll just leave that up there for the moment. But it could have been actually in the uh, the call there. So it wasn't working. Now it's working. Okay. Um, so presumably data files track, <laughs> I promise. Ah, okay. That's probably a good part of the reason there. Let's do That's a good point actually. Can I do that? I don't think I can, can I? Nope. Mm -hmm. Right, did I? I'd have to do an on mount to do that. I'm kind of at the point there, I don't really think I need to be doing this anyway. And this is just. Because anyone. Most people can use a shortcut key anyway. I'm only targeting Linux. We all do that. So it's there by default. Most it's there by default in Ubuntu. Yeah, I'm not going to start mucking about with mount and all this kind of stuff just to get that working. I think I'll call that a knob. Uh, I can just do it right back here. Okay, now that does mean that this is problematic because that, in theory, is pulling back a Promise. Oh no, it's not. We're gonna go here. <laughs> We're okay. We're fine. That's why it's working anyway. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, hey, hey! Right. Couple of tests here. Oh, went past it. So that so works. Oh. Okay. So we've got 
frame that's working now in theory uh, what's next uh, I want to do edit so let's clean off some of these I think we're good with that 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 can go that can go in fact I can basically get rid of everything and just open up um, the list uh, yeah the screen All right, so we've done that. Why is that still there? Is that right? Yeah, I've done that. What I want to do now is um, I'm good on here. Uh, let's do this as well as dev now. We're in the screen. Um, I want, when I'm in this mode, which is the management mode, I want to be able to hit enter to go into edit mode. Um, not just the right key, our key, and I also want it to be that if you um, click on it, it goes into edit mode rather than paste mode like it's just done there. Um, and obviously I have an icon there to say, hey, you're going to edit. Well, actually, do I need to? What I might do is disable the click, actually. Unless you're in the area of an icon just for a little bit of safety. So, yeah, I think so. So here we go, we've got in the um, handle navigation, which is basically handling any um, keystroke. If we're in select mode, we do handle item activation. If we're not, then we do handle item edit on the arrow right. But we also could do it for enter as well. So let's do that. And this is going to be a bit long. So let's uh, shorten this off. And then we'll just make this like this. Um, 
Where did it go? Did I kill it off? Can't remember doing that. Okay. Move over here. Okay, so now I should be able to come down here and go enter. Yep, we're in edit mode. And then cancel. Um, so that's good. Now it's click I need to fix as well. How do I have that? And do I item activation? Okay, so I'm going to, have to take that out um, and make that a function. So, one click, we get a vent as well there. I'll just probably not be using it though. Um, oh yeah, I can. So, what's going to happen, I'll probably do the two different things here. So um, if, if we're in select mode and we've clicked on an item, then we just want to do um, handle item activation. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I do kind of need to pass in the index here. So I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to roll that back. Let's just do it on click. And then the snippet. And then pass a snip in here instead. So select mode, we're going to do handle activation snippet. Okay. 
else. And oh, I admit it. Snip it. I'm going to see how it feels. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do that. I could just like drop it and just not do it. So in theory, I can come down here. I can just hit click on this now and it goes into edit mode. But there's no indicator that that's what's going to happen. this way. So in this case, yeah. Stays focused there. I think I would like the click to happen. And there's a little wrinkle there and that Yeah, we're losing focus. But I'm not sure I can do anything about that. When we're, when we're moving up and down, we set the focused item based on wherever it is we're going. I think I think I want to I 
I was going to say try and keep the focus there, but so you can go in, edit something, and come back and still have focus on the same item. And only if, say, we delete it, should it then, say, do a refresh. But that's going to be, I think, something we can do in the future. But to prepare for that, I kind of don't want to be passing in the snippet here. I want to pass in the index. Because I don't think we really want to be passing the snippets until we're doing, hey, do an item thing. He says that we can easily find the index from the item. Okay, I'm going to do the index, and we will do Um, well, basically the same as we do yeah, items and then the index because we've got to be careful to pick the right set because we're actually iterating over a set of items not snippets as such and these are the result of a search here. They've been passed in, and it's the same thing, kind of. We need to be a little bit more careful about what we might do there. Yeah. Okay. Sure, that still works. So, normal, if I hit enter, that should work. Um, and if I, right, so if I click, same thing. If I click on another one, same thing. That's fine. Okay, uh, and now let's go into search mode. Just need to make sure I hear. So in this mode, if I hit Shift and click, 
get that. That's cool. And I still can't go right. But I can't do that. That's fine. Okay, right. I think that'll do for the moment. Um, and then I need to start mucking about with icons and things. Um, which is going to be fun, but I've run out of time. So that's something to store away, I think. What did I change here? That's just it to do. And we've got the on click. Okay. Let's save that off. We're done there for today. We've got to go do a stand up. So uh, thanks for watching, um, and until next time, take care.